you know this review is going to be really short and sweet one shot is a film made specially for me this is one of my favorite type of films and you know what let's get into that review folks right now What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film One Shot which is going to be in theaters on demand and digital November 4th. Now look folks, let me make this very simple, straight and clear for you. Films like this, I love. I really love. These, these are my favorite types of films so I may be a little bit biased here but like I love a film that just gets straight to the action. A very simple plot good guy versus bad guy you have one of the top uh action stars in the film and you let them do what they do so bada boom but there is something special to this film now when i think about my favorite type of film in this genre it's extraction on netflix the cinematography uh the stunts the actions all of it is top tier and this not, is not quite that but this one does do something super special with a lower budget and shot during the pandemic, which I know because they really didn't deviate from, but from this one location. This film is shot, one shot. It's almost shot like a play, essentially, you know? And that is why it's really, really cool. Because following the action and panning the action in that, in that way, it makes it so much more enjoyable and fun. But overall, it's just an entire, no matter how it was shot, I still think you would have the same amount of fun. Bullets are flying, good hand-to-hand -hand combat, explosion, again, good guy versus bad guy. And in this case, what's happening in this film is that you have, um, the US um, is has been tipped off by Intel that there's a threat on Washington, DC. And in that threat seems to be an involvement of a terrorist who's in this CIA black site island prison. So they send the US uh, Navy SEALs team to go extract this guy because they need to be able to get uh, intel from him in order to stop this threat. So part of that Navy SEALs team is uh, Lieutenant Blake Harris played by Scott Atkins. They did to go get the guy and then they're out of there. At least they thought the plan was gonna be that easy because there's also a terrorist group that is aware of this happening. And they're like, oh, we got to stop the U.S. soldiers from doing this so that our plan could be fulfilled. So you have the terrorists versus the good guys and, and the Navy SEALs. And you have a, a, a pseudo terrorist in the middle who, who knows what, what side he's really on. Whether he's going to corroborate with the U.S. or is he going to corroborate with the terrorists, you know, because at this point, everybody's after him. So he doesn't know who to trust here, you know. Um, and then you have some other conflict that's happening on the U.S. side as well, too, which really isn't timely because the terrorists are basically like, we don't care if they move, you shoot them. So, and everything is obviously on the clock because they need to stop this threat before ultimately something, a bomb or whatnot, goes off in Washington, D.C. So, it's just that. Scott Atkins is a fantastic actor. Um, his stunts and action is really top tier. And I'm a huge fan of his. So him being in the lead role, I'm automatically in, in for it every single time. And yes, he brought he, he absolutely brought his A game. Um, some really good hand-in-hand -hand combat, as you would expect. Um, bullets are flying. So again, the sound mixing is really good. Uh, and because it's shot in one shot, you know, because there's nothing in the film that's one shot. There's like a billion bullets flying around. So it's like a billion shot to almost everybody's is, 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 is out of ammo. So you have to resort to the knives, which is Scott Atkins specialty here. So I love it. But the one shot title comes from the idea of it being shot in one shot. So you see it one take. Um, so you're seeing the painting and whatnot is really good. And again, for them doing this, with a, with, which I could imagine being a uh, fairly low budget and it being a pandemic film, um, really good. It's enjoyable. It is my type of film. Very simple plot. Good guy versus bad guy. You have a lead action star. So you know what you're getting with all of that. You know, you're getting some one liners. You're getting some poses and all that other good stuff. It's, you know, if you know, you know what you're getting with Scott Atkins, you know. And, and they execute really well. So, like, yeah, again, Extraction is my favorite within this genre of sorts. But, like, this is good. This is definitely good. This is enjoyable. So, totally check this out, folks. November 5th. 
um, in theaters on demand digital. Check it out in theaters. I think this is definitely worth a theatrical um, run because just the sound alone and the bullets and everything is really going to heighten the action. Go, go see it in the best quality you can. But yeah, when you do, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned for more movie reviews very soon.